my hand will can handle this. <laughs> I was excited, boy. She had a a coffee and a muffin for two dollars. It was, Mama. For two bucks. And and uh, she asked, "What size coffee can I get?" Twenty-four. And, and she said, "What size coffee?" And they said, "Any size." Well, Mama was excited. You can, you can buy this in the truck stop. Gee, I'm sorry. She um, got a coffee and a muffin. Muffin is for two dollars. I was excited, boy. Now, now we definitely need to see if they have truck parking here. Look at the muffins, too. Those are some good-ass muffins. And a coffee. Coffee and muffin, two bucks at BP. Is that something you guys just have just now, or you always have that? Well, we've had it before. Yeah. Really good for you, but... All right, so now we spent eighty dollars, and we haven't started working yet. Well, we had we started working. I'm gonna say, what are you talking about? I got up at three o'clock this morning, but she didn't know she went to bed at three thirty. Mama likes to fall asleep on the couches. She likes to. She, she has that Filipino thinking that we pay all that money for that house. She wants to use every room. So Mama likes to sleep in one living room one day. And the next weekend she likes to sleep in the other room. Because she feels if she's not sleeping in that room, then that's a waste of money. It feels good. Just on the couch, guys. Just, you know. Mama loves falling asleep on the couch. I used to do that too, man. I went through a period that I had to sleep on the couch, I don't want to get up. I just to lay wake up in the morning. Yeah, so now go. I used to try to get Mama, come on, come on, you better go to bed, let's go to bed. And now I just leave her there. And uh, when she's ready, she'll appear. All right, hurry up, let me get across. Oh, there's a car coming. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. What what's going is that mine? Yeah, well, it was ours, but look at how fast she came around there. That was that's pretty far that corner. She was on top of us. Quick. Wow. And I'm like a deer. I just stopped. I'm free. <laughs> Good thing you had that glow in the dark. Mama was like a deer. <laughs> she just stopped and froze just like a deer. A deer in the headlights. Right. I knew it. I should just put my thing, my glow in the dark vest, and I took it off. If Mama got hit by that car, she's going to be like, if I had my vest on, that, that wouldn't scary. have happened. This hat, she would have threw my hat back at me. This hat doesn't work. I told you the vest. See, that's scary to don't guys then cross to the curb and do what I did. Oh. Well, unless you didn't have this. Well, the one you weren't paying attention when we started crossing, and I don't know what you were looking at. I was looking at the car that side. Mama was looking the other way. Oh my gosh. I don't ever stop here anymore, I mean, I, I And most people that uh, most people lady. that drive like that don't have insurance. Oh my gosh. Or they have the minimum insurance, oh so it'll cover gosh. it'll cover half of your broken leg. No, I cover my hat. Yeah, it'll cover your hat bill that gets bent. And uh usually responsible people don't drive. Oh my god, like did that. it to make a crosswalk? Well I think it's our fault, but <clears throat> Oh look at it, it's our best. Yep, Mama's noticed vest. his vest. Yep, Mama should have put her vest on. I, I, I put it on and I took it off. Yeah. Well, I have to save my hat. We got to go down to that Motel 8. This, I think it's less than a quarter mile. It's, but it's half a mile is over it? there and over there. So you think going there and back is a half a mile, you're no, saying? No, two miles. I told one mile. One mile? Uh, two miles. I don't know, man. A mile is pretty far. When you, especially when you start jogging, it. <laughs> you start, you try to start jogging a mile. 
you start your legs start tightening up and you're like you're looking at like how many miles did i do and you're it says point three <laughs> point oh three point not even a third of a mile body starts tightening up start getting dizzy lightheaded legs start cramping Tom, I'm out. I know, honey. Ah. All right, is that can I start eating? Heavy? Yeah, <laughs> can I start eating? Mom, I think it's taking way too long to start eating this food. My muffin put some weight. That's my muffin tomorrow, guys. That's basically a dollar. If you buy a truck stuff, it's just something. Basically, two bucks. So, all right. Over the road. This is definitely a good place to uh, Someone has to pay for the road, guys. Stop. I wish there was a place closer to there. Well, maybe it's not a good idea, honey. Because if there's a place that's closer, we'll stop there every day. I know. So, there is a it. there's a big parking lot next to this Ace Grill. It's not much closer, but it is as far as saving time. We could park in that right next to that speedway right and that would probably save us right maybe eight minutes but like what i said that it's better that it's far so we didn't have to stop for all the time <laughs> yeah yeah mom said if that chipotle had a parking lot we'd be there every day that's a sports and whatever yeah that's a uh, that's a looks like they have a golf range down there they have soccer fields that's the thing Method sports and fitness. Okay. All right, stop looking, Lisa. All right. Now, Mama. Now, Mama's gonna look for traffic. My momentum was in fast forward. I have a heavy eight pound. Eight pound. Oh my gosh. Now we're going to have to do another one of them five mile jogs tonight, Mama, because we're eating all this damn food. Yeah. My God, so bad. Last time we did, we didn't jog for two days. So we're like, and we ate. So we're like, we're going to jog five, six miles today. We ended up jogging, I think, four and a half. And uh, then our hips <laughs> felt like they were displaced. <laughs> dislocated the next day so we thought we were going to jog another four or five miles the next day and uh it took us three days to recover from the four and a half miles all right mama's about to get knee deep into this uh into this food go that way mama go in the parking lot i don't want to walk through that grass All right, if Mama needs anybody's help finishing this food, we'll get back on here and shout out and ask for some help. Right, Mama? Yeah. I was looking at this hotel. This hotel. Mama wants a, a Mama wants a hotel. Huh? She wants to own one of those one day. And there's no doubt in my mind you will, Mama. Yes. But uh. Your mind can can save your body can't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my All right, we're out of here. We're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna put my Motel 13. <laughs> Motel 13. Why 13? 13. I don't know if it's real here also in the U.S. that uh, 13 four don't exist, but in the Philippines 13 four don't exist because of the so-called. Friday the 13th, which yeah, the is like a five suspicious block, number. Whatever that is. Yeah, I've been I, I've been in plenty of buildings where they don't have 13. Yeah. It'll say 12 yeah. A and 12 B. So I'm gonna call something Motel like that. 13. <laughs> Motel 13. Yes. Oh, 12. <laughs> Everybody has to go to the 13th floor to check in. Oh my God. Uh, we're not gonna have to jump down there, are we? Oh, are Wonder if there's a walkway down or. It's a cliff. It, it looks like there was a little thing to walk down, but this is easier. Are we there yet? <laughs> 
I know it don't seem like a good idea anymore, does it? I thought if I, I thought they say oh. when you come back it seems closer, but it don't. <laughs> there was there are some steps there, Mama, to come down. So we know oh. if we're ever dumb enough to do this again, we know there's steps there. Oh. All right, P and I Trucker Girl USA, over and out. Motel 13. Out.